Welcome, Fiona O'Loughlin. Thank you very much. I was actually in Sydney a couple of months ago uh, doing my show and I got in trouble from a critic. Um, the critic said that I was mean to my kids. You see, I think the thing the critic didn't realise is that they started it. <laughs> <laughs> you so get what you're given when you give birth, I can't tell you. Um, I, I had one kid right, that had an imaginary friend that he didn't like. <laughs> the imaginary friend used to come over, right? And he told me the imaginary, he's like, Krista's here. And I'm like, oh, hi, do you guys want to go and play? And he's like this. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> We're miming in front of an imaginary puss. <laughs> and then he said to me, she's irritating. Like, well, you imagined her, <laughs> you little freak. <laughs> I'm not gonna bore you with birth stories. What I will say about birth, it's inordinately long and painful. I was in labor for three days, three nights, and ended up with an emergency cesarean. And I screamed for three days and three nights, and ended up with an emergency cesarean. And after screaming for three days, three nights, and the emergency cesarean, I, I couldn't have been more embarrassed. I gave birth to a runt. <laughs> It was six pounds. I, I wanted to put it in the cupboard in case I got visitors. I was, you know, I've seriously given birth to pygmies. Like, I know I'm not a tall person, but you know, one of my kids was so short, he fell out of his percentile. Can you, can you imagine you're so short, you're not on a government graph, you know? And we had to go to a specialist and find out why he's so short. So there I'm sitting at the specialist office with this short kid, right? Finding out why he's so short. And I'm thinking, could be because he's not very tall, but I don't have a medical degree, so. <laughs> and he's sitting there and he looked up at me, they break your heart, he's looked up at me and he goes, Mum, will I have to be a jockey? <laughs> and I just you know, looked at him and I nearly cried. I'm like, no, I think you'll be shot out of a cannon, but we'll wait and see what the doctor says. <laughs> There's a lot of you here, isn't there? I'm from Alice Springs, I'm not really used to people. Um, I've not seen this many people since I went to Rome. I did, it, it was really stupid. We went to Rome for our 10th wedding anniversary. But anyway, <laughs> when we got to Rome, we lost our minds. And I actually had a little panic attack in Rome because I'd never seen so many people, so many cars, so many traffic, so many, you know, just so much action. And my husband, he was sort of trying to comfort me and he was walking down the main street of Rome. But, uh, okay, so that's how country I am. I don't really think there's probably a main street in Rome, but. <laughs> but it was freaking me out, right? My husband puts his heart around me and he said, Fiona, Maybe it's Rome show day. <laughs> it could have been, you weren't there. Good night.